Hello, friends. My name is Sophia. Welcome to the USA Test Prep Classroom. We are going to learn about physical properties today. Can you say physical properties? Excellent. Physical properties are things we can see or measure. We can classify or sort objects based on physical properties. Some examples of physical properties include color, weight, length, texture, shape, hardness, strength, absorbency, and flexibility. We will look at some examples of these properties in different objects. Let's head to the science lab to learn more. Matter is anything that takes up space and can be a solid, liquid, or gas. Physical properties can be used to describe any of these states. Many properties can be found by using some of our senses, like sight and feeling. We can see color and shape, and we can feel weight and texture. Let's learn about some properties by sorting some items. Here we have a rubber band, a brick, a pencil, a cotton ball, a hand towel, a rubber balloon, a piece of sandpaper, an eraser, and a single die. Let's start by looking at these objects' colors. Which color do you see the most of? That's right. There are more blue objects than any other color. Color is a physical property we can see or observe. Do you see any other colors? I do too. I see white, yellow, pink, and brown. Let's sort out the blue objects. The rubber band, pencil, and towel are all blue. Another physical property is weight. This can be measured with a scale, but sometimes we can feel differences in weight. Which of these items would be heaviest? Yes, the brick would be heavier than the other items. Texture is another physical property. Texture describes how something feels. Words like soft, rough, and furry are words that describe texture. Can you name which items are rough? Yes, the sandpaper and brick are both rough. Shape is another physical property. Words like round or square can be used to describe shapes. The brick, sandpaper, die, and eraser are all square or rectangle shaped. They have straight edges. Hardness and strength are similar, but describe different parts of objects. Hardness describes the surface of an object, and strength describes the material of the object. They both are used to describe how much force they can handle. A glass has a hard surface, but is not strong. If pressure is applied, it will break. Next, let's find objects that are absorbent. When looking at this property, we are looking at how much liquid something can soak up, like a paper towel does with a spill. Which objects would absorb liquid? Yes, the towel and cotton ball would both be absorbent. Finally, let's find some objects that are flexible or elastic. These properties describe objects' ability to bend or stretch without breaking. The main difference between these properties is the ability to go back to its original shape. An elastic object can bend and stretch, but force is needed to pull it. When it is not pulled, it returns to its original shape and size. A piece of cooked spaghetti is flexible. It can be shaped without breaking, but does not need force to keep it that way. I see flexible and elastic items here. Which items could bend without breaking? There are many. The balloon and rubber band are elastic, and the towel, cotton ball, and sandpaper are flexible. We sorted so many items today. Let's head back to the USA Test Prep classroom to wrap up. Your video will continue in a few seconds. For more videos like this, along with great standards-based instructional courses and powerful diagnostics, visit usatestprep.com to sign up for a free trial or demo. Your video will now continue. I enjoyed learning about physical properties today. Remember, objects can be described and sorted using their properties. Some properties can be seen, like color and shape, and some can be felt, like weight and texture. Now it's your turn. Gather several items and sort them by a few properties. Remember the different properties we discussed today. Thanks for joining me. See ya!